This module provides guidelines on writing literature review. Session outline. This module will cover sections of literature review, rewriting literature review and things to avoid while writing literature review. Objectives. At the end of this module, you will be able to explain sections of literature review, justify need of rewriting literature review and discuss things to avoid while writing literature review. Sections and arrangement of literature review. Though there is no uniform practice of sectionizing literature review, the recommended sections for this chapter is first introduction of the chapter, second critical summary of the articles. At this point again, you can be critical. There is no problem in comparing, contrasting, also in criticizing and showing the gaps in the earlier research. Third is conclusion. This is pointing out the findings of the earlier research. This is the recommended order in literature reviews chapter. Let us take one example. If the topic of the researcher is teaching learning strategies in education 3.0, she will have to take the material on teaching learning strategies, changing ICT environment, features and characteristics of education 1.0, 2.0 and 3.0. Now let us come to the arrangement of material. She may arrange her material in chronological order underlining the historical development of education technology. Hence, she may adopt chronological arrangement of abstracts of articles. She can divide eras into 10 years period from the rise of internet that is in from 1990 onwards. Establishing the interconnection among the sections will render the continuity within the chapter and hence that is also advisable. These are some of the innovative ways of writing a literature review. Rewriting. Rewriting literature review. Writing literature review requires rewriting at three stages. First, at the beginning, you indulge in literature review for selection of the topic. Second, at the midpoint of, the, uh, of your research for deciding the exact scope for your study. This is at the time of data collection. And third, at the end, so at the thesis writing stage for polishing your literature review. At this point, you will see whatever recent articles have come. Accordingly, you can include the same at the writing stage with a critical background, with a critical insight. Rewriting, that is polishing literature review at the end of your research. This will enable you incorporating newly read material at the end. Here you also chart the progress and development of the topic with critical thinking. If you are using some theory or model unused, here the justification needs to be included. For example, let us extend the earlier example on education 1.0. 2.0, 3.0. At the end of your research, the researcher can include education 4.0 if she observes that there is, there is a conference on education 4.0 and this may lead the researcher to include this subtopic at the end with literature review. Now pitfalls to avoid. First is rendering the literature review as patchwork of quotations. The researchers 
many a times are attracted to the striking sentences of the earlier researchers and hence this chapter is converted into copy and paste of the quotations by the earlier researchers. This is to be avoided. Here whatever is read only should be incorporated. The researcher should avoid the temptation to include the material which is not read by herself. Thirdly, you may not include and there is no necessity to include the theory part of literature review in the literature review chapter itself. Try to avoid that. Summary. To summarize, the sections of literature review are introduction to literature review, summary of articles and conclusion which summarizes major findings of the studies chosen. Here critical point of view is no problem. Please do not hesitate to be critical while presenting the summary or while drawing the conclusions out of the summary. While writing the chapter, though there is no uniform practice, we have seen the suggested order of summary of article of introduction, summary of articles, then followed by conclusion with major findings. To summarize, ideally, literature review is conducted thrice, namely at the beginning, that is at the time of conducting literature review with the literature search. Then at the midpoint for deciding exact scope of the study at data collection stage. And third, at the thesis writing stage for polishing the literature review. Now pitfalls to be avoided. Avoid patchwork of quotations. Do not render this chapter from quotation to quotation patching quotations from the authors. Do not incorporate the material which is not read by you. Thirdly, there is no need to write theory of literature review like literature search and other things which we are studying in the chapter itself because this is a part of research methodology theory. Do not dwell upon it. Taking into consideration these points, if you write the chapter on literature review, your further work in the area of your research will be easy and stress-free. Thank you.